Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Olu B. I appreciate you being here. Hope you all are good. Well, I am. I am still smiling. I'm grateful. I'm happy to be here. So today, what are we talking about? Um, the last video I put up was about my journey with my girlfriend to New York and that was part A or part one of the journey. At that time, she went for, she went to New York for work and I tagged along, but we had so much more to do while we're out there. And it was a laugh and a half. As you all know, New York is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And we had the best time ever. So we pack our bags. It's time to go to New Orleans. Now, what are we doing in New, York, New Orleans? We're there for the Essence Festival. Now, for those of you that might not have heard of the Essence Festival or maybe heard of it but don't really know what it's about, it's a celebration of Black culture. All things Black um, related to Black culture is what's being celebrated there. So you would have career fairs, you would have music, you will have exhibitions. So think about a big exhibition center focused on, you know, the cultural aspects of blackness, but also the serious side. So if you were at university, sometimes they had a few black universities there. They had food stands there. They had industries, different industries there, you know, just showcasing how you can join the industry and how you can climb up the ladder. Um, and there were multinational companies there like McDonald's, like Ford's. Um, there were lots of actresses there and actors there. So famous programs you would watch on maybe BET. They had lots of them there. There was a BET stand there presenting from there. It was so, so nice. So every time I would see a publication about the Essence Festival, I've always thought to myself, it's a place I want to go. And um, Kemi thought, yeah. We're, all, we're we're in this together we're all going she is as um she's kind of like me very like-minded well maybe a little bit um more serious than i am i'm the smiley one and she's the more um, yes that that's kemi you meet kemi one day but anywho so we were looking forward to the essence festival we get to our hotel this time we didn't go on the underground we land in our hotel and um, we get there and it's very quiet out Lots of elderly people around, nothing really happening there. And we thought to ourselves, okay, as the festivities not began yet, if people not, um, you know, come out of their bedrooms or the hotel rooms to come party, is it just us? Is it a bit quiet? We go into the hotel, we check in and we speak to the ladies at reception. And they basically said to us that we're in the residential part of town. Now, this residential part of town wasn't the um, most glamorous part of town either. So it was one of those ones where it just didn't feel right. Anyway, we thought, well, it's all right. We're only here for three, four days. We'll be fine. We'll just, you know, catch a train. Not the train. I don't know if they had a train, but they had the tram out there and it was running past the hotel. So we were going to catch one of those and go into town anyway. So we, the first day we checked in, got into our hotel room and we thought, oh my God, this is so dark. The room was not lit up. I don't think there was a window there. It was just so dark and gloomy and not holiday-like. And um, <laughs> Kemi was already saying, we're leaving here. And I was like, we can manage it. It's okay. By the time we settled in the evening, um, we called our friend Olati. And at this time, even I agreed with her that, no, this is just not going to work. We're going to leave here. And calling Olati up was so much. Um, we had so much laugh on the phone at our expense obviously because she was in her nice glorious house and she was just laughing at us and all the stupid things we've managed to get ourselves into between new york and new orleans on day one anyway um we all agreed that night that it wasn't a place we would want to stay we need to go into town so we slept the night and then in the morning, we packed our bags. They weren't surprised to see us at the reception desk at all. They weren't surprised. <laughs> like they knew we were going to leave. So that wasn't a difficult one. We tried to arrange a refund. And um, while that was being sorted, we moved ourselves to a better hotel in town. Now, when we moved to this hotel, it was right next to the big um, venue where the whole 
uh, Essence Festival is going to be happening. So you can imagine the stadium, you know, where all the Super Bowls happening and things like that. Um, and we thought, yes, we've arrived. I'm Yes, I right, we did. It was so, so nice. It was so nice where we stayed. Um, and because we were in the middle of town, we were able to go to the French quarters. We were able to join, you know, it wasn't Mardi Gras time, but we were still able to join the parties around town. I guess they have the beads going there all year round. Um, one of the things we love to do is eat. We went to McDonald's, people. Yes. We went to McDonald's one day and we had their milkshake. It was the best thing ever. And every day, we went there like twice a day just to have the McDonald's milkshake. Um, it was so much fun just walking down there, saying hello to people, having a laugh, singing and dancing on the road, checking out the shops and things like that. And then going to the venue itself just to go and see what the um, festival was about. And like I said, there were so much activities happening. We got involved. I met Boris Kojo there. I think, um, I think Terence was there. Terence from Big E.T. was there that year. Um, I think, I think, I think, um, I'm just trying to see if I'm right. Anyway, anyway, I was about to mention that someone else was there, but maybe not. Maybe this is just my imagination. But it was so much fun when we got to the Essence Festival and we looked forward to the concerts at night. Now, that was the year that Mary J. Blige was there. And so it was a good, good concert. And I think Diana Ross was there that year also. I'll insert pictures just to kind of help you along and imagine how this is. But it was really nice. It was... um. Uh, four days full of lots of just seeing lots of people and to be honest outside of Nigeria um, I hadn't seen so many black people so many people of color let me not say black people alone because there were Hispanics there there were Asians there but yes the majority of them were black people and it was just nice to see so many beautiful forward thinking progressives in one place it was really really nice and, and I've lived in London and you know uh, it's it's one of those ones where it's just nice to see happy faces people you can have conversation with and just vibe it was a vibe for the four days so by the time it came to an end aside of the fact that i was coming back to my family i was thinking i wish i could stay here even longer but then that's what great holidays are made of you don't want to leave um in terms of adventures that happened in New Orleans, it was all good, I have to say. Apart from the hotel that we stayed in the first time and we saw a few what we thought were dodgy characters. But then, please, don't go by my, um, my, my, what you call it? My, um, oh, this word fills me. Fills me. I don't want to say yardstick. But measure, measure is the word. The measure of me and what dodgy is. Because since I'm the one who's the scaredy cat everywhere we go, I just imagine, my imagination just goes wild. And the things that are happening, the things I've watched on TV, the things that would never happen, I just imagine it all and I go along with it. So I played out scenarios in my mind already that I've scared myself. I have scared myself really badly. A word comes to mind now, but it's not appropriate for videos like this. But I scared myself so badly by this time. Um, you know, there's no point anybody just feeling like that really is the situation. But then that's me. That's what I do. And that's what keeps me going. That I, I'm able to have a laugh at my own expense. And I love that about myself. Anyway, anyway, you know what? If you leave me to it, I will carry on chatting and chatting and chatting. But I don't want to do that to you guys today. So thank you so much for coming back. My name is Olubi. Please subscribe. Please share. Please um, comment. Um, I look forward to seeing you all and sharing more of my holiday experiences. Thank you so much. And you have a great week. Have a great week. Have a great day. And where, whatever it is you're doing, just make sure it is great. Make sure you're happy. Make sure you're smiling. Anyway, see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.